Let's talk about the six updates to Adobe InDesign that were announced earlier this month at the Adobe Max Conference. Now, this is the 2024 version of Adobe InDesign. It's available right now if you go ahead and just hit the upgrade button. And we're gonna talk specifically about whether or not you, as a planner designer, have a use case for this. And this is something that would help you make more money, enhance your process, or something like that. So first thing is, if you are just new and you're just trying to learn Adobe InDesign or thinking about it, sign up for my free course, Adobe InDesign 101. We'll leave a link to that below. Um, but let's get into style packs. So style packs, I was a little confused by this because they are not new. So if you go into window and you go to styles and you make sure there's a check mark in front of style packs, you should see it over here on the right. Now style packs is nothing new. They actually came out last year. Uh, there were a couple more designs in here. Again, nothing aesthetically pleasing, at least to me or anything that I would like to do. And I showed you this already last year that you can actually, if you toggle over here, you can create your own style packs. So nothing new there as far as I know. So I found that a little confusing that it was announced as something new. Next feature is the ability to hide spreads. So a spread could be a page or it could be a two page page, a three page spread. It really depends. This is just set up as a single spread. And as you can see over here, there is a little I with a, a slash through it, which means you can't see it. So over here, if I right click this, I could also say hide spread over here. So now two of them are kind of grayed out. So now that I've done that, when I go to export this, those two pages won't be exported. Instead of being a five page document, this will now be a three page document with page one, page four, and page five, and that's it. As someone who designs planners, I guess if you wanted to play around and try different covers or different layouts, you could go ahead and do that all within one file. The third update is suffixes. Now, the only way to get this is if you do file export. And even then, once you do that, you have to make sure you've chosen either a JPEG or a PNG to actually activate the screen that says suffix. So over here, there's three different things you can add. Um, you're going to hit the little plus sign. Now, if you say page size, it's going to give you the dimensions like 24 by 39. If you go over here and you say page number, it's now also going to add the page number right after that. And then if you say incremental numbers, it's also going to add incremental like as you go. Now, good luck remembering which number is which because when you actually get this file, so over here, you're gonna see that this is 612 by 792. Now I know this is eight and a half by 11, um, but over here I have put this into pixels. So if I really wanted inches, I'm gonna to have to change that ruler, right click that ruler and change the left and the right both two inches and try that again. Now the fourth thing is analytics. Now this is good if you're going to publish something online and two, you actually use Google Analytics. So if you do file, publish online, you are going to get the option in this third tab over here to add your analytics. So it has to be your measurement ID. Now my measurement ID is from Google G, the new G4. If you are still on the old Google Analytics and you did not upgrade, this will not work. The fifth one is the Harf Buzz integration with InDesign for Glyphs. Now, I thought this was already available. In fact, I looked on the Adobe forum and someone already mentioned it back in 2020. So maybe this is now just available for everyone. But basically, if you have Hebrew, Arabic, or I guess what they're calling, uh, what is it, Indic and Latin script, that is now in theory easier to read with this integration. Now, the sixth update is that CEP was replaced with UXP. Now, this was announced back in 2019 or 2020, um, back when Conan O'Brien was doing the Adobe Max uh, big announcement. And it's basically just a JavaScript plugin. So that's a wrap for all the changes to InDesign 2024. And hopefully those are something cool or useful where you're like, oh my God, this is totally gonna change my life. Um, as far as me and my plan designs didn't really make a big difference. That's okay. Um, I still love Adobe InDesign and I still think it's great. And honestly, there's a ton of advanced stuff that I'm probably not even doing uh, that I could learn before waiting for something new and greater and better for it to have as a feature. So remember, if you would like to learn Adobe InDesign, sign up for my free five day 101 course. I will leave a link to that below. I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day and start to your week and I will see you later. Bye.